Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Plate Up Tutorial. Today we're going to be automating coffee. And you may say to yourself, well, coffee's pretty quick. Why do you need to automate it? Well, if you have a restaurant that I'm working on here, I'm at OT day eight, I have 30 customers, individual dining, almost everybody gets coffee. Not everybody, but usually. It might be nice to have it automated because if you're worrying about stir fry, you don't want to be worrying about having to make coffee, pick the cup up, put it down, make a mistake, pick it up, put it somewhere else, etc. So I'm going to show you a pretty simple tutorial. What you need is your coffee maker, your counter, some place for the finished coffee to go. Now, it could be a prep station, a frozen prep, or it could actually be a regular counter as well. It doesn't have to be a frozen prep. But because I have one on hand, I'm going to use it. You also need two small grabbers, which you will set in practice mode, which we'll do momentarily. And then you'll need one grabber and then either two more grabbers or two plain conveyor belts. It doesn't matter. Uh, for this setup, I'm going to use uh, excuse me, grabbers because that's what I have on hand. So the way you set it up is you have your coffee machine here. You can, we'll set it up like this. It doesn't matter. And then out of your coffee machine, you're going to have this going to there. This is going to go to here. This is going to be, actually, you got to slide this over one more because I don't have enough space to set this. I wanted to set it up for you guys. Let's do it more like this then. There, we'll do it like that. That's fine. And then this can go like this. There we go. And then that's going to pull it from there. And your other smart grabber is going to go from here. And we'll reset. I'll explain exactly why I'm doing it like this uh, momentarily. So, and you have this feeding back up into this, just like this, okay? So the way it, the way this works is your coffee, your grabber will pull something from this, which is going to be the empty cup. The empty cup will cycle around. It'll land here. Now this will reset this, as I said, this will become your, your filled cup. So they won't take it, but this smart grabber here will take the empty cup, which is set already. Uh, cause I was, was practicing this prior. It'll feed it onto this and they would feed it back into the machine. Now the, the beauty with grabbers is that grabbers will only grab from something when the action is completed. If there's an action to complete, um, in this case, when there's, there's no action to complete, when you pull a cup of coffee from here, the empty cup, there's no action. It's just pulling a cup, which is what the grabber does when it gets fed back into it via this grabber. It'll, it'll lay on here like the normal cups do, and it'll fill it. And this grabber won't grab it until this is a full cup. And that's how you, this system works. So to set these things, the two smart grabbers, you can set them like this. You don't want to have them set up like this, or you'll have to mess with them a little bit more. So you go into practice mode. The beauty of practice mode now is that if you set a smart grabber, the smart grabber will remember what you have it set as. As you see, here's already pulling this. So we're going to have one set as a regular cup. And then here, this is going to fill up. And then this is going to be set as your finished cup. And that's all this, that's all there is to it. So you got to go back in your practice mode, you come back out. And now it's time to configure this. The one that is empty cup goes here, the one that is a full cup goes here. Now let's turn this on and watch this cycle in practice. Come down here. And like I said, there are more multiple ways to configure how this layout is, but the concept is the same that you want to have a regular grabber pulling an empty cup onto a counter. And then the two smart grabbers decide, is it a full cup to here, empty cup to here, and then it'll feed it back in. Like I said, you could reconfigure this as it makes sense to you, but for this demonstration, the concept is the same. So it'll keep pulling, pulling, pulling. This is a small grabber for full. It'll come back. As soon as this hits it, it'll start to fill it. It'll fill it again, and then this will just keep going in an endless loop. And because we have a prep station here, it'll keep cycling and cycling. Now, the way grabbers work is that the grabber will not pull something until the item is completely on to whatever the next block is. And because of this, the, the, the weirdness in a sense of grabbers is you always have a gap until your receptacle, which in this case is a frozen prep, is full. And you always will have this gap here until you start picking more up and then it'll get full again, but you always end up having a gap. Eventually things will fill up. So that's, that's the concept of how to lay this out. Now let's go back into practice or into our layout mode and we'll set this up in a real game scenario. And you see, I have a real game here that I'm working on. And for me, I want to have my coffee cups right here. So let's set this up. 
as we need to set it up. So this one's going to go here. Your small grabber is going to go here. And then from here, you're going you're to have your countertop, of course. And then you're going to have your regular smart grabber pulling off the empty cups. Like so. And then the empty cups, again, you could feed them. Again, the, the way I'm showing you is, is a bit of a real-life setup. Now, for me, setting it up like this makes sense because I want to allow the people to be able to walk through here and I don't want to clutter this area up so I could put more coffee tables in if possible. So let's set this up again how exactly like I described it. You have your grabber like this and you have this grabber like this. And because you have individual dining, this works. And actually, if you wouldn't have individual dining, this would work as well. Uh, if you have the larger groups, you couldn't configure this in your dining room you'd have to configure it say somewhere in like this room and then feed it up into here or something like that but again for the 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 tutorial the way my restaurant is set up this will work and all right let's go back and cycle this again into practice mode and we'll see what a real game setup looks like it'll cycle through cycle through as soon as that grabs it boom is going to put it in to make a cup and again this will continue to cycle through until the, the finished cup makes its way over. And so it takes a few seconds to do so, but by the time your customers come in, if you have a, an, an appetizer, if you have your main dish, there's no way that there won't be coffee here by the time you need to serve them. And especially if you have a frozen prep, the coffee's right there already, ready to go. And here again, it's gonna, it takes a while to cycle through when you start pulling it off, but now it'll be much more, um, and I can go in here and just show you when you start pulling cups off where it, where it puts them, let's just cycle all these through. And we can just watch this. It, this will, it, it will continue to cycle like this. There may be times where you have more than one empty cup in the rotation. It doesn't really matter uh, because of the way that the cups work is that you'll eventually end up with a full cup here and there won't be anything on the grabber in front of it because this is trying to only pull empty cups. So as soon as you'd pull this, again, it would reset the cycle I'm walking slowly because I have city atmosphere, by the way. Uh, and then again, it'll keep cycling and cycling and cycling. And like I said before, in here, I had it set up a slightly different way than out here. But the concept is the same. You have to pull from a regular grabber, feed it into a counter, which would be here. And then you have your smart grabbers pulling an empty cup back in, which will get full. And then you have your smart grabber with a full cup taking it into your prep station or your frozen prep or your other countertop. And now you could set this up going the other way. You could set it up up and down, but the concept is the, is the same no matter how you have it laid out. But basically, this is how I do it, and it works out, and the cat up there is unhappy, <laughs> which you guys could maybe see or not. But anyway, that's how you do automated coffee. It's pretty straightforward. If You, you could even configure this a, a little bit differently if you'd have more conveyor belts or more grabbers, and say you have to squeeze it into an L shape. The, the, the concept is exactly the same as I showed you here and as I showed you in this room. You have to be pulling with a regular grabber onto a counter. Then you have your two smart grabbers, one set as empty cup to feed it back in. And then your other smart grabber feeding your prep station or what have you, which is going to be your finished coffee. And this cycle will continue and continue and continue until your end of the day. And then when you when you end the day, the cups that are on the conveyor belts obviously will disappear. When you come back the next day, this will automatically restart and start feeding your prep station again. So I want to thank you guys for watching. It's pretty straightforward, but it's a, it, you have to have the right equipment to get it set up. Like I said, I'm in OT8 or something. This could be set up much further, much earlier if you have the conveyor belts, if you get the RNG, if you have copy desk, which I have one up here, etc., etc., etc. Thank you guys for watching. If there are other tutorials you would like to see, please leave it in a comment below. I will be doing more and more as the game is upon or coming on release. I already have crab cake tutorials, fish tutorials, and those still hold up even though they've been recorded in previous versions of the game. So feel free to check back on those. And if you have any other ones you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments. Like I said, comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch at The Ontario Gardener. The link is below. And follow me on Discord as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.